everybody knows about STEM. Well, you know what's so funny is years ago we called it hands-on science, uh, and it uh, it really turned into this great movement that corporations could get behind. If you ask anybody who's out there right now saying, uh, so why why STEM? It's because we're a little worried that in 15 years we may not have like the young students that we have in in the uh, studio today. We might not have enough scientists, technology people, engineers, mathematicians, and so forth. I was at a STEAM festival this Steam. weekend. STEAM. Rocky Mountain STEAM Festival. Take a look uh -huh. at this. Uh, I was up there. I took some pictures. There it is. It's STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. They arts said and math. entrepreneurship oh. and making, which was interesting. But imagine an entire pavilion filled with kids playing with energy sticks and, and uh, 3D topographical maps oh, uh, wow. using a, a PlayStation Connects. These kids were learning to do lock picking and huge Jenga. <laughs> Would you imagine that? Huge oh. Jenga. Making catapults outside. And it was fun to watch mom and dad making the catapults while the kids were supposed to be doing it. Uh, Mary Ann uh, Zakic is the one who was uh, responsible for that entire piece and uh, very, very exciting for Steam. us. Steam. Steam. So here it is. Science, technology, engineering, engineering arts, arts, and math. And I don't want people at home to think of arts as uh, arts and crafts. Arts are really uh, just like when you go see a piece of art and it touches you. Art is what touches your heart. So we like to tell teachers art is what makes science make sense, right? Oh, if you're going to change policy, if you're going to change the future, you got to first touch the emotion and make the whole thing kind of come true. That makes and, sense. And for me anyway, it's trying to see how do you grab a kid's attention and then what do you do with it and then how do you turn them loose and let them play. Uh. And if you take your kids to a STEAM festival, they're going to be playing with LEDs like we have here. And you saw the kids playing with the energy yes. stick. And played that before so we hang on here and you and I touch like this we complete the circuit see how it goes Love so if, it. You, if you look at the little LEDs kids are going well, how does that LED thing work how does yeah. that work yeah. so here's what we give them look at this you got a, a whole thing of LEDs that are here and I have a watch battery for you so Mark holding the watch battery okay. here here is the LED okay. so you got this so you have to take the LED take this one here mm -hmm. and you have to just put the little probes in place it works on one side and not the other so it's polarity sensitive rest right oh twist it over the other way oh. turn it the other way excuse me oh there you go Oh, bingo. Oh. See? So now here, take your piece of tape. Okay. So here's your piece of tape. All right. And so now this is kind of cool because now you can tape it in place. You could make a little switch if you want to. But this is a cool little light with a watch How battery like burn? this. Like for months? Oh, like maybe 90 days, sometimes oh, okay. 120 days, yeah. which is pretty cool. So some kids in Denmark figured out that if they took magnets, like see these magnets here? Yeah. These are called yeah. neodymium magnets. Neodymium, yeah, yes. Got it? Yep. So if you take those and now hook them onto this. Oh. Got it? So now watch what happens. You hang on to this. Okay. If you take, and there was a building, for example, or a bridge that had metal, throw it on here. Bingo. Oh. Do you see this? So this is called light graffiti. So you see, there you go. So in a short period of time, you could graffiti whatever you wanted. Oops. And the hard part is this. You, oh, I'm throwing all on without magnets now. Oh. Right? So in a very short period of time, you can cover an entire building. Now. Uh, I wanted to do this, but there's this little environmental problem with I covering a building yes, in magnets and people yes. get mad. So we went to the Pearl Street Mall. So take a look at what we did. We took teachers who attended the National Hands-On Science Institute, and we took 160 of them up to the Pearl Street Mall. We gave them a bag of LEDs, batteries, and magnets, and no instructions other than what we were uh, what we were playing with there. Okay? That is fabulous. And then we oh! covered it, instead of <laughs> magnets, we covered them with, uh, with Velcro. And so here is this Velcro, and now we had walking Velcro people so no magnets no environmental problem at all but the whole public kind of came together and kids wow. and, and adults asking questions about this it's exactly what we want in the steam movement Steve it's powering Spangler science science.com look at that you have more fun than any human being is that kind of fun thanks Stevie we'll be right back I'll get you the suit and we'll just throw them okay. on here